Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. In a recent video, I showed you how to use resistance or detector wheel sets on your model railroad for detecting the presence of cars and the like. And what I want to do today is show you how you can make your own resistance or detector wheel sets for use on your model railroad. So let's get started. Okay, I've zoomed in here now so we can take a look at all of the different components that we're going to need for this project. So first off, as I pointed out the other day, you need wheel sets. And these are intermountain wheel sets. Uh, these are the freight size. And basically these are a plated brass wheel set. And they have on one side a plastic insert on the end of the axle that insulates the wheel from the axle. And that's the side that you're going to work with. And on this one, I believe it's actually right here. So you just have to take a look at that and you'll be able to tell that it's different from the other side. And you can see where the insulated side is. I use uh, a pair of forceps to keep the wheel from rolling away while I'm uh, working on it. Uh, I've got another little pair of fine-tipped forceps here for working with these small components. This little device is just a, a micro brush with the tip removed after it broke off, and I use that for applying the cement. And this is the conductive glue that I use. It's called wire glue, and I got this from allelectronics.com. And it's basically just a clear glue with a bunch of carbon uh, in it, so it gives it a, co a conductivity. And um, these, I've had these for several years now, and they seem to last fairly well. They haven't dried up at all. We're also going to need uh, one of these sand sticks. We're going to need some super glue to hold the resistors in place. And then I just use the bottom of a shot glass that has a dimple in it uh, to hold the super glue. I also have my surface mount resistors. So these are very tiny. The particular ones that I'm using are 10,000 ohm resistors. And I used the 1 8 watt 10,000 ohm version. They are a surface mount resistor and they are 0805. And that means they are 2 by 1.2 millimeters in size. Now you could also use a quarter watt resistor, which is a bit bigger, and it's 1206 at uh, 3.2 by 1.6 millimeters. So it'll be a little bit easier to work with. Now I got these from a company called engineering.com, and that's capital engineering, not Ian, uh, and you can find them on the web at engineering.com. Just leave the E off and you can find them. And they sold these, uh, they still have these, uh, in these strips like this. I think 20 of them was like $1.60, something like that. They're very inexpensive. You can also find these on eBay. Uh, just look for surface mount resistors and uh, specify what you're looking for, the 10K, and uh, a 1206 or the 0805, whatever. And I'll put some of this in the uh, description to the video for you to look up. Okay, let me show you how you can tell which wheel is insulated from the axle. I have my volt ohm meter here. And if you listen, you can hear when I've got a connection. That little buzz that you hear in the background, that indicates the electrical connection. Okay, so I'm going to take and I'm going to place one probe on the axle itself, and then I'm going to touch one wheel. Hear that? That means that there's an electrical connection here. That's not insulated. Let's try the other side. Nothing. So this wheel here is the one that is insulated from the axle. If you watch, I'll touch the end of the axle and you can hear it, okay? So that's how easy it is to check that. Hit that little red uh, subscribe button, and when the little bell comes up, click on it and click all. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, after you have determined which side is the insulated side, and it's right here on this one, you're gonna to wanna to take the sanding stick and sand a spot on the axle right in front of the rear face of the wheel. Okay, you want to get that shiny, because even though these are plated brass, 
they also put a little bit of blackening on them so that they uh, look better on your cars. So you want to get that down to the bare metal there and also the same thing on the back side of the wheel. Just go ahead and sand that in order to get it nice and shiny. So I think you can see that now it's nice and shiny on there and also on the inside of the wheel itself. And that's so you'll be able to get a good electrical connection in there. Okay, so that's ready now for us to do the work. And you can see here it's very shiny where I've sanded it and the same thing on the back side there. And what we're going to do is we're going to prop this little surface mount resistor for between the back side of the wheel and that shiny spot on the axle. And that way we will have an electrical connection created through that 10,000 ohm resistor. Okay, let me get these out. Now, as I said, these are very small, so that's why I'm using these very, very fine forceps. So you can see I've picked it up right there. I'm going to put just a dab of my gel super glue in the depression here, and then I'm going to pick up one of these surface mount resistors, put that one over there, and get just a dab of super glue on the back on this tip and put it on the back side of the resistor there like that and then I'm going to put that right in place between the back side of the wheel and the axle okay so you can see I've placed that right in here against the axle itself and the back side of the wheel. So that is forming an electrical connection between the wheel and the axle. Okay, now I'm going to let that set up a second and then we'll do the next step. The super glue has dried so it's uh, the resistor is fairly stable there and I went ahead and mixed up my conductive cement and then what I'm going to do is dip my little applicator in some of that so I've got a big blob of it on the end and then you want to make sure that you get a good liberal coating on each end of that resistor okay don't slop it all over the place be careful because you don't want to make a connection across or over top of the resistor okay. so I'm just going to be putting it right here at that point over the end of the resistor here and on that end of the resistor. Now I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back in a second. Let's go ahead and check the resistance now. So I'm going to put one probe here on the axle and one on the wheel and it's coming in at 11.24 K so that's a little bit over 10 K so there's probably a little bit of a differential due to the distribution of the carbon or inadequate distribution of the carbon in the binder there in the glue that might uh, change as this dries out some. So that's all there is to it folks. Put it back together and you're ready to use your own detector or resistor wheel sets. Well that's a wrap for today's video on how to make your own detector wheel sets like these here. Now these aren't that difficult to do. You do need pretty good light. You do need some way of uh, some form of magnification, either some reading glasses or some other types of magnification in order to be able to see what you're doing because these components are fairly small and it helps to have a steady hand. So have a great day and we'll see you here soon with another video from the DCC Guide. Bye now.